What is up? I hope you're doing super well. Today, I literally unleashed what I feel like is the best strategy for real estate agents that I've ever seen in my 22-year career. I'm literally throwing everything else away. I'm throwing the handwritten letters away. Like you, <laughs> if you're doing the handwritten letters, keep doing them, right? Everybody doing the listing challenge, you know, keep going. It works. You're going to get the phone ringing. You're going to get leads. You're going to follow up. But what I'm saying is that I have fallen in love with this strategy. And I literally took a chapter out of commercial real estate agents book here because they do everything. They find the buyers and sellers on everything they do just about. On these big deals, they're all off market. They find the buyer and the seller. I think the problem is agents are doing 50% of the work. You're finding a buyer and waiting on a seller. You're finding a seller and waiting on a buyer from another agent. And instead of pursuing that, now let's just take it a step further. You don't have to have your own seller. This strategy is so gold. I can't even explain to you. This is not a joke. And in today's video, I screen share the whole thing. I literally had the audience on Zoom pick out the listing I was going to go sell. This was a random listing by another agent. You could do this every day of the week. You wake up and say, what listing am I going to sell today? Then I took Red X and I found all the property owners around it that could upgrade to the listing. And instead of calling them saying, hey, would you sell your property? Hey, I have a buyer. I'm saying, hey, would you like an extra bedroom today? Do you need a bigger house? Do you need a newer house? Do you want a better view? I'm offering them a better quality of life now. I'm not calling to take, you know, I'm not trying to get them to give me a listing, give me anything. I'm calling to offer value. That's it. These, these, these calls are a million times easier to make than, you know, would you sell? I have a buyer, you know, et cetera. Or even asking if they would be interested in a rental property when you don't really have a rental property. You're just saying, hypothetically, if, I had a great deal on a rental property. Would you be interested? You know, that's a good line too. I mean, that, that's a great line, but this is even better. I don't know anything better than this. You can take every single listing you have. If it's a four bedroom, find all the three, uh, three bedrooms around it, two and three bedrooms around the four bedroom. Say, hey, I see you've got a three bedroom. Would you, do you need a four? I got a really nice one. Just hit the market. I'd love to show you. Or a $10 million house that's been sitting on the market for seven months called Call all the $6 million houses around it, the $5 million houses around it, the $3 million houses around it, and say, hey, I see you've got this house. Do you need a six-bedroom? Do you need a five-bedroom? Whatever the, whatever the angle is for the 10 mil. Say, listen, I don't know if you know about this one over here. It's been in the market for seven months. I'd love to show it to you. You could probably make a really good offer on it. It's been sitting in the market for a while. There's so many angles you can take with what I do in this video. It's insane. Um, it was funny. I, I freestyled a little usher during the during the call. I talked to three people, and it was literally three leads. I called 12 houses. It was 27 numbers. Talked to three people, and they were all leads. When you come at people with value, then they open up to you. None of them wanted the house, but they told me what they actually wanted to do. That's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of what, what I'm doing here. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get a lot out of this. The Red X deal that I mentioned is still available right now. I'll put a link in the description for that. It's going to give you Geo Leads Plus, which is all you need for this, and a multi-line dialer. And it gives it to you for normally it's like $270. It's $199 for the first month. They waive the $150 setup fee. $199 for a month. You literally every day pick out a listing you want to sell, call all the people around it, see if they... Need a better house, a better quality of life. I'm Mr. Want to make your life better. That's who I am. And that's who you need to be. And this is all This is all I'm doing. All the calls I do from here on out is literally around this. If I haven't expired, I'm going to find out a house that they can upgrade to before I call them. Hey, I see you were trying to sell this. I don't know what happened there. But if you're looking to make an upgrade, I'd love to show you this one over here. Get the conversation started with some value. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to quit babbling, let you guys get into the video. So enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video. Times. I'm like, you want 30 active listings or 30 active buyers? Nobody says buyers. The people that say buyers, 
they say both. They don't say buyers. And then I'm like, you can't choose. You can't say both. One or the other. Who is it? And they always say, okay, listings. I haven't ran across out of the thousands and thousands and thousands of agents that I've asked that to on stages, on Zoom calls, in my content, not a single one of them. I have had a couple that were like buyers. And then they say, I'm like, why? They say, well, they'll buy and then they'll sell later. And so they get, you get the deal later. I was like, but if you, but if you, but if you have a seller who buys, you get two deals now. Think about it. And so I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to show people how to do this. I'm going to screen share. I'm going to pick a random listing and I'm going to do this. Now, you guys, you want 30 active listings over 30 active buyers. Okay. I already know that because you've already told me that. But my question is, what if you had 30 buyers who own properties who when they buy, they're going to sell as well? Now you're doing two deals immediately. Think about that. So I thought, what's better than a listing? I thought, well, it's a buyer who owns a property they're going to sell when they buy. And now we get two deals. So I thought, why aren't we only doing that? For a while, I was like, why aren't we only going after listings, right? Why are we doing Zillow leads? Why are we doing open houses? Why are we doing YouTube to get relocation business? Why are we doing all the things that we do? Because we want listings, but we, everything we do is focused on buyers. So number my, the first thing for me, the first hurdle was, can I get you guys on the same page with me with stopping to do all the buyer stuff? Because you don't want them, you admitted it. So why are we doing it? You can get the sellers for the set for cheaper and they're easier to talk to. I told you how you could make them call you first with the handwritten letter. I told you how you could see them online. They could see you online first through social media. And now when you call them, it's not a cold call. We've went through all this. But then I thought, you know what? Let me sweeten the pot a little bit. What if we go after property owners who are going to buy and then sell? And now we're doing two deals. So now I'm thinking, why is this not everything that we're doing? Only thing that we're doing all day, every day. So after I show you what I'm going to show you today, every single day when you wake up, I want you to go to your MLS and I want you to say, what property am I going to sell today? First thing you do in the morning, pop up in your MLS. What property do I want to try to sell today? Not try. What property am I going to sell today? And then you're going to do exactly what I'm going to show you to do today. And you're going to go sell that property that day. Does that make sense? I've got Tyler here with Red X. We're going to give you guys a deal on GeoLeads Plus and the dialer for $199 for the first month. That's all you're going to need for this. You don't need Ad Builder and Expireds and for sale by owners and the whole bundle thing. You can just do $199 to get GeoLeads Plus and the, and the dialer and go to town. So I'm about to show you guys how to do this. What I'm doing is... You can do this for any listing. I was talking to an agent yesterday, and he was headed to go show a rental property. And I said, bro, you're in Brickell, right? Down to Miami. He's like, yeah. I was like, aren't there $11 million condos for sale? He's like, yeah. I said, you know, you can get the $5 million condos around its information for a penny and call them and see if they want the $11 million condo, right? He's like, oh, my God, I never thought of that. I was like, you can literally get their information for a penny and see if they want to upgrade to the 11 million, sell their 5 million and do 16 million worth of deals right there. You can work on that today on the side and get back to your, you know, 800 to a million stuff tomorrow. You know that you could be doing that for like literally pennies right now, right? He's like, oh my God, I'm going to do, I'm, you just changed my whole life. You can take any property and do exactly what I'm fixing to do. So I want to take a vote right now. I've got some condos listed in a, in a complex, some twos and three bedrooms. Do you want? Do you guys want me to call around my listing on a Gulffront condo, the ones and two bedrooms, to see if they want to buy a three bedroom, or do you want me to get a, let's say five six hundred thousand dollars single family off the beach, or do you want me to go after like um, like a three or four million dollar property uh, somewhere on the water or something like that? I'm going to let you guys. Uh, single family. Just put in the comments. Let me take a let me take a vote from the comments. I mean, it's a mixed bag, but it looks like you guys want to see me sell like call around like. Uh, 
I mean, it looks like the vote is like for single family, like a regular single family. What do you think, Tyler? I'm kind. It's kind of like let's just say it's cut down the middle. What do you want to see me? What What do you want me to see me sell today? What kind you're of thought do you call that again? You're uh, muted, by the way, Tyler. I I see a bunch of stuff for luxury and and a bunch for single family. What if What if you did? What if you did single family? Like, what's the average price point in your market right now, Ricky? Like seven hundred. So what what if you did double the average? What if you did like one point four? What do okay. you think? Boom. Single family one point four, somewhere right around there. Done. Also, you could do all this stuff off market. Find something somebody wants to sell. Oh, oh, let me tell you this too. I was talking to an agent about the letter. She's like, "What do I do if I don't have a buyer?" And and like, I was like, "Okay, when they call you, tell me you got a buyer." And then you go see if, look at it, see if they're going to do the right price and commission. And then guess what? Go back and it takes you an hour to call all the houses around it to see who wants to upgrade into that pocket listing you have. Here, here's Ricky, while you're picking the property, here's why I said double the average price range, right? That was, that, here's why this came to mind. It's because I think we all want to work luxury properties. We want, we want, to, we want to move into that. And, and prospecting in like this is such a great way to do it. And I wanted to show people it's not hard. You could literally it's pick any hard. price. That's what I'm saying. Like, yes. you, could, you could like pick $11 million condo and call all the $5 million ones. See who wants to buy the 11 million one. The 5 million ones don't want to buy that, but they want to buy something else. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right, cool. So check this out. I'm looking at the listing I'm going to call about. All right. This is the one I'm going to call about. So let's look at it real quick. All right, so here it is. Um, it's on the water. It looks like that's it right there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm pretty sure I used to know who lived there a long, long time ago when I was in high school. Okay, but uh, the point is it's on this water. This is the big water. It goes out to the Gulf. All right, let's just take a look at the inside real quick. Yep. Nice wood floors, beautiful, stainless, a lot of space, a little outdated. All right, let's see. Let's see when it was built. I have to go to the other thing for that. Let me check that right here. Ba -ba 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 Bam. 95. Let's see. 95. Hey. Hey, look, it's been on the market 52 days. It's a humdinger. Let's sell this sucker, guys. What you think? So now we've got the property. Now we're going to go to Red X, which is here. I'm going to log up in this thing. All right. Now we're going to go to GeoLeads. GeoLeads Plus. Okay, let's see. I was in, I was in St. Petersburg looking at some property. I was looking at it on Red X. All right, let's see. So let's get up in Terry Cove, which is going to be right here. All right, so dig this. Here's the house right here. Let's see, right here. So you see, this is that house right here. Here's that little hump, and here's that little body of water. So here's... Here's the body of water. Here's the hump. Here's the house. All right. So check this out. I'm going to call. All right. So this whole subdivision right here, this whole subdivision right here is called Terry Cove. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call all these homes right here and see if they're looking for a waterfront home because this is a waterfront home right here. And I could even call these right here right across the street and see if they might be interested. So let me get right here. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna get my boundary popping. So you take your little boundary thing and you just, you mix that sucker right up, right, right where you want it to go. Mm -hmm. 
here. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can get those houses. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to get all these houses right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Voila. See that? I picked up all those houses right there, right across the street from that one. I'm going to say, hey. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is it. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and like just go maximum here. All right, and then let me... So 262 properties found. So let me just look at the map here, and you can see this is all the properties that are in Terry Cove um, that aren't on the water. Create leads. I'll call it that. I'll call it that. Let's see. I'm going to actually name this. I'm going to call it Terry Cove Orange Beach. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm a real estate agent. Let's see. The rest are across the street. And then there was one that sold, built in 94. So here's my comp. So this is what I wanted. This one sold for 1.725 back in uh, about uh, eight months ago. It was built in 94, about the same about the same age. So let me just look at that one real quick. So that one's even on no pictures but you can see this one is not and it's and it's on that that water right there so like for real for real this is actually not that bad of a deal so now i feel good about what i'm doing now i'm going back here and i'm hitting dial okay. hey miss delina Hey, it's Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty in Orange Beach. How you doing? Good. Good. Um, you enjoying the day? Good morning. <laughs> hey, I didn't want to take too much of your time. Um, I see you've got your your Terry Cove house. I don't know if you guys live there, if it's a second home or whatever. But I was just wondering if you guys uh might quite possibly want to be on the water in there. Um, there's a nice house for sale uh, right on the water um terry cove harbor right down the road okay. they're asking 1.749 which is actually not bad because there was a smaller one that went for 1.72 and it wasn't even as good of a view as this one it was kind of on the canal okay do you guys have an agent down here that you normally work with on stuff Okay. Well, shoot. I mean, I've been down here 22 years selling and, uh, you know, if you guys ever decide you want to do something, I'd love the opportunity to interview for the job. Um, would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? I'd have to see it. Uh, let's see. 2664. Yeah, I'd have to uh I have to take a look and I, I actually used to live in Terry Cove. I built the house at the very end of uh Terry Cove Drive on the left, the brown brick one. I lived there for about three or four years. We moved to Craft Farms about well, it was during COVID we moved to Craft Farms. But I'm real familiar with uh with the area and stuff. Do you guys live there or are you guys out of town? We uh no, we don't live there anymore. We actually have a tenant. Okay. Oh, you're renting it? Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, we don't have an agent. I'm not saying we want to sell it, but yeah. we would be interested in the idea. Uh, I'm actually headed out of town right now, but yeah, if you want to um, come and take a look at it, I'm sure it's something that you would be interested in. If you just my cell number, if you want to just text me your name and number, or if you want to. Yeah. Come to I pulled it up on. I pulled it up on Google Map. Oh, yeah. I know exactly which house yours is right there. All right. I tell you, what's your email address? Mm 
Mm. Okay. Um. Do you guys have a bunch of rentals? Is like porch rentals? Is that kind of y'all's company? Got you. Got you. Okay. Well, um, you got a tenant in there. I'll tell you what, let me, uh, I'll text you all my information and then let me just do kind of like a dry, a dry CMA just based on not seeing it kind of a range of what I think I might, you know, it might be worth. But, uh, would you guys be interested in like getting something on the water or something else in the area? Got you. Thought about it. All right. Well, let me do this. Let me, let me do this. Let me just kind of, how, what would you say the shape of it is on the inside? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Let me uh let me figure out what I think it's worth just as it is. Why uh why would you why would you sell it if you could get a good price? Like why why would you sell it? I got you. I got you. I'm the same way. All right, let me try to figure out what I think it might be worth and I'll I'll let you know. Yeah. You know, in about 1031 exchanges, we usually try to 1031. Yep. Sell that is a sale. That is a sale. You there? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, kind of losing you. That's. Yeah. Would you buy something down here, or would you get something in Birmingham if you sold it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let me work on this and I'll be back with you. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> I'm laughing, guys, because of how easy this is. I literally have been calling for five minutes and I have a live seller who doesn't have any interest in the waterfront home but they would sell this house and 1031 it into another house in the area are you kidding me is this a joke oh my god so here, here's here's what i think here's what I, I let me observe and share some observations ricky is that okay go ahead because because Number one, I think that people think that prospecting has to be harder than we make it up to be in our mind. Like if it works, it must be really hard. And, and the truth is, it's just not. It's, it's just not. It's so much simpler than we, than we really think. But here's what I love that you do, that I've watched you do many times, and, and, and I think it works so well. Is number one, and I've told people this many times, Ricky is Ricky is Ricky. It doesn't matter if Ricky's on stage, doesn't matter if he's on a webinar, or if it doesn't matter if we're sitting at dinner together. It's the same guy, right? You're genuine in all of your interactions, and that comes through in how you communicate. But here's the line that I love, everybody, that Ricky says. He goes, look, I don't want to take too much of your time. Like that line, that line is so good from an NLP standpoint to be like, I recognize you're busy. I recognize I'm calling out of the blue. I don't want to take a bunch of your time. And so they go, okay, well, what do you, what do you want to hear? What do you want to know? And then you just kind of do an awesome conversation well, you simply know what? by calling somebody out of the blue. It was so awesome. You know what's so funny is she was kind of standoffish in the beginning, right? She was like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, she, she didn't really say, I was like, hey, Miss Delina. And she was like, she hesitated. And then she was like, oh, yeah. I was like, hey, it's Ricky, da, da, da. And then I was like, and then she kind of hesitated. I was like, are you having a good day or what? 
kind of laughed a little bit. And then she was like, well, we'll see. I guess kind of insinuated, like, we'll see how this call goes, if you're a jackass or not, right? And then I proceeded to, I don't want to take up many of your time, but I've got this beautiful waterfront home that you might want. You own a house right around the corner. Um, And uh, you saw what I was doing because you guys could see my screen. You saw me Google, you saw me Google search her house and look at the front of it while I was talking to her. Okay. Um, it's the same thing as like, I was talking to an agent about this today. Cause she was, she said that she was talking to this, um, owner of this condo on the beach and she, she asked the, on, the condo owner to send her a link of the condo since she couldn't get in it. So she could like see some pictures. I literally Googled the condo and unit number right there and was looking at it. Right. I said, when I was talking to property owners, even if I was going to go see the property, the condo, I would Google it and like be looking at the picture and say, Oh, I'm looking at it right now. Like, I, 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 there's a beautiful kitchen. Like, I love the granite. It's got really cool furniture and stuff. And I would start, like, pumping up their condo to them, like how beautiful of a place that was. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, I mean, are you, are you guys not fired up to go, like, you could go sell any freaking listing. And in the meantime, she doesn't want to buy the listing. But guess what? I'm going to sell her house and sell her another house. I got her email. She's on my weekly email now. I'm going to send her what her house is worth. And I'm going to work the deal until I either get the deal or she doesn't do a deal. And then she does a deal with me in two years. I just spent five minutes doing this. I'm scared of cold calling or whatever the fuck you're talking about. My God. All right. Let's see. I'm back in here. I don't mean to cuss, but I just get a little excited when it's just like, my God, guys, please, 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 for the for the love of God, please just go build your business. What is the issue? I'm scared to do that. OK, who cares? Go build your business. Voice drop. Voice drop and my, my drop top cruising the straight. I got a pretty little waterfront house and it's looking at me. I pulled up. Drop that voicemail. It's a nice house. Don't keep me waiting. I got a pretty little waterfront house just waiting on you. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, I'd stick to be, I'd stick to being a, a, a real estate trainer. <laughs> don't quit your day job yet. I don't think so, dude. I think, hello? I think actually pursuing my career as a real estate trainer who sings while training. Miss, hello. Hey, Miss Sandra. Hey. 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 It's, no, ma'am, this is Ricky Carruth down in Orange Beach. How you doing? Oh, I'm not doing too good today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble. Oh, I hate to hear you that. What? Is there something I can do to help you? No, I appreciate it. Uh, it I'm having trouble with my knee. Oh, okay. I had knee replacement. Man, it's acting up. I know people that have done that. Did it? You had the surgery, and now it's kind of like, it's it's this hot. Well, it, it's something going on with it. Even the doctor don't. He's never seen it before. So. Are you in a lot of pain? Uh oh yeah. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I I uh, you don't have to yeah. talk. You don't have to talk. I was just I was actually I'll let you go. But I was calling because I'm an agent, a real estate agent. I see you got a house in Terry Cove, and I got a waterfront house uh -huh. in there. I got a waterfront house in there for sale. For that's real nice. Oh. I just didn't know oh, if you. Okay. It, I just didn't know if you were, you know wanted to kind of trade your non waterfront one for a waterfront one, and you know I didn't know if you were well, looking for it. Actually, yeah, actually I'm gonna move back toward Birmingham. Uh, okay. I'm down here by myself now, and. My family and friends want me back up there. So. Okay. Do you, uh, uh, are you going to be selling your house? Yes, but I do have a real estate agent. I got gotcha. you. Who's your agent? Yeah. Uh, Kate, um, can't pronounce her last name. Oh, okay. okay. What company is she with? I think she's with Belmont. 
Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hate to hear that about your knee. Yes, ma'am. You have well, a good thank day. You very much. All right. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good loving. Don't keep me waiting. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna get rid. I don't want. No, I, I marked that good number, number right? right? It just, it just designates, designates. Hey, that's, that's the person that I meant to speak to. It is a good number. Let's see. Count. This is a contact. Yo, sir. Let's get it. Please it's crazy because the two people I talked to are literally selling their house. Hello. Hey, Miss Gail. Yes. Hey, it's Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Orange Beach. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Good. You enjoying the day? Yeah, it's turned out to be a really nice day, although it's getting cloudy now. I was liking the sun. Better than last week, though. Oh, it's getting better. Yes, yes. Still a little winter. Yes, yes. I'm ready what for, can I do for you? I'm ready for it to go away. No, I didn't want to take up too much of yeah. your time. I uh, I see you got the house on Martinique. I don't think you're on the water, are you? No, I'm across from the canal. Yep, yep. I've got this yeah. I've got this house on Terry Cove Harbor for sale that's on the water. It's pretty nice, and uh -huh. I just didn't know if you were maybe thinking about trading your non-water front, maybe get on the water. I didn't know if you might be in that that boat. Oh, actually, I am still uh, reconstructing from some Sally damage. And so oh. I meant to uh, Sally? hang on to this for a little while. Yeah, I know. My it's gosh. Unbelievable. Are you having trouble with contractors or what? Yes. My. The city is helping. The city is helping me now. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I raised it up. Go oh. It was four feet, and now it's 15 feet. Oh. So I'm out of the water. I'm out of the water. Okay. So gonna, I have a pretty substantial investment, and yeah. I'm going to, it's going to, 2024 is going to be my year, but thank you. I, I'm, I like this neighborhood a lot, and I've been here since 1997, so it's changed a lot. My, uh, I used, I used to live on Terry Cove Drive. I built the last, the house at the very dead end back in 2017. Yeah. And we moved to Craft okay. Farms. We moved to Craft Farms in 2020, right before Sally, actually. And uh, okay. but one of my best friends, his name is Matt Burgess, and his dad is Dale, okay. and his and his mom. But they they live right across from you, somewhere right there, right on the water on Martinique. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I grew I grew up right there in that whole area. And yeah, it's just it's magical. It is. It's, it's really, really nice. nice. Let me ask you this: Do you have an Do you have a real estate agent that you normally deal with? You know, like I'm sure it'd be like five or ten years down the road. But do you have an agent that you have a relationship with? Yes. Okay. Yes, I've got several teacher friends who are realtors. <laughs> Everybody's an agent. You know, you gotta have a side a side gig around here for sure. That's it. That's it. I've been selling for twenty years down here. Right when I got out of school, I uh, got my license. Do you uh? I tell you what, would it, I'd, I'd like to stay in touch with you at least, maybe, I don't know, by email or something. Do you have a good email? Um, so it's just, you're just saying that you want this house to get listed? No, ma'am. No, 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 no. Yeah, like like 10, year, 10 years down the road, if you get my emails and remember me and your teacher friends get out of the business and 10 years down the road you think, I remember that nice young man that I talked to. Yes, that's all it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it. I use Yahoo, too. People people call me old school. Yes, mm -hmm. I am. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Where are you from originally? Tell me your name again. I'm Ricky Carruth. Huh? I'm Ricky, Ricky Carruth. Carruth. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Where, where are you from originally? Uh-huh. I was born in Mobile. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Did you go to high school and stuff over there? Actually, no. My daddy moved us. I was raised in Iowa, came back after I oh. got out of school up there. Wow. I've, I've lived in, lived in Lake Forest, lived downtown. Um, I've lived in Old Gotham Way. I've 
I've yep. lived in Montgomery. I've been, yep. to, I've been to lots of places in Alabama. And this so. is the and this is your favorite. Oh, by by leaps and bounds, except mm. for hurricanes. Now we were living in, in Terry Cove, and now we live in Craft Farms, and we absolutely and we, we we live in the estates, which is the gated one with the big lots. And we just oh, gotcha. absolutely love it. We're far, we're far away from the hurricanes. You know, we got a concrete port. Yeah. yeah. I have several friends who migrated that mm -hmm. far. We love you know, it. A couple of them have houses on the water, and they bought little houses in craft farms just so they could go that far and get away. So that's not me. I, I have a teacher's salary, and I'm just about, you know, at the limit of what I can do, but I bought it at the right time, and, uh, Do you teach, do you still here. teach? No, at okay. I, I tutor, but I've I got been you. retired for, got for you, several got years. You. All right, Miss Gail, it was so nice to talk to you, and I got your email, and okay, I'll keep... stay in touch with you there, right. and, yeah, if something ever comes up, or something I can okay. do to help, just feel free to reach out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, my God. It's so easy. So easy. So it was ridiculous, man. My God. I, how long did I call for? Like 20, 15 minutes? 20, 20 minutes. minutes? 20, 20, 21, I think, is what Pulse said. Well, that's what it said, so but we talked in between. Oh yeah, I mean you had you had what three great conversations? Yeah, you were so, maybe calling for a few minutes. So check this out, like, so check this out. Um, it's still running. Twenty two minutes, twelve leads. Okay, that I called. Twenty seven calls made. So that's, so that's you know that's like I called like let's just say two numbers per person. So twelve different households I called. I talked to three people. Um, I talked to the first lady who I'm going to actually pursue to get the listing and sell her something. That lady is a long term. She'll get my weekly email and call me in 10 years. The second lady had the knee replacement and has an agent and she's good. She is selling her house though. <laughs> she is. Um, she is selling her house. So literally left 14 voicemails, like straight up, like in the, the the average pickup rate is always 10%. Look at this. Made 27 calls and talked to three people. It's actually 12 homes. I talked to three out of 12, actually. Okay, guys? People talking about, oh, data and bad numbers and stuff. Okay. I literally just went on here. And uh, right in front of you, you picked the house that I, that I called. Cold and MLS. Found me a listing and got two leads. And you guys, I'm going to stop the dialer. And you guys can't do this? You could do this for $10 million homes and go call all the $3 million homes tomorrow. Right now, when you get off here, you could like literally get $3 million leads for literally a penny. I don't know what else to say. I'll take, uh, I'm going to take, go ahead, Tyler. Let's get your final thoughts. I'm going to take two questions. I was simply going to say, we, we're so good at overcomplicating things. I, I, the training that I was doing this morning, we had the same conversation. We're so good at coming up with reasons why it's not going to work and overcomplicating it and overthinking it. And all you did was you said, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find this house on the water and I'm going to call people and see if they want to live on the water. It wasn't complicated. Not at all. And, it's the and easiest look, thing in the world. Look you what know, just you know came what, of that. You know, what's so, you know what's so cool about this strategy is that it's – so much easier than calling for listings because the listing you're trying to get something out of them when you do this you're trying to present you're trying to give them something and so like think about what happened with the first call i was calling to present her a waterfront home so she was kind of standoffish then she saw i wasn't trying to do anything but offer her something cool that she started asking questions about then she's like well we think we think we would sell because like she opened up to me about that because i wasn't trying to get her Okay. Right. So um, put your hand up. I'm going to take two questions. We have time for two. So I see there's one hand and whoever has another hand up, I'm going to take two questions. I wanted to, um, I wanted to, to dig into this by Dijon. Um, although she had an agent, why wouldn't I have kept her number to follow up later? How's your knee? And the, listen, absolutely. If I'm new and I'm new and I want to do that. Yeah, cool. 
But dude, I can call so many people. I can get so many leads that actually want to work with me that say I don't have an agent. So many of them. So many. I could have kept calling here and just called for like 20 more minutes and picked up three more leads. It's insane. And you guys are just like, oh, like, I don't know, man. All right. So I'm going to do two. Is it Kadeen? Yep. You got it, Ricky. All right. Hi, Ricky. Cool. What can I? Oh, before, before you get into that, do I have this? Yes. Here's the link for the deal. The $199 for the first month with GeoLeads Plus and the dialer. It's all you need to do this. You literally can just every day, like, what list are we going to sell? Okay, call people and sell it. Okay, the next day, what list are you going to sell? You call people and sell it. It's fucking crazy. Go ahead. Hi, Ricky. I just wanted to find out for, I noticed you had like different types of voicemails. What exactly are you leaving on? What exactly did you say on each of those voicemails? No, it was the same voicemail drop. So you pick a different type of voicemail drop. You already have some pre recorded So I had one for expires. This says, hey, I'm calling about your house. You probably got a lot of agents calling you, but you haven't talked to one like me yet. And then I had the general one. It's like, hey, it's Ricky. I'm just calling about your house. Call me back. That's the one I use today. Sometimes I'll do a personalized one like, hey, I'm calling about your house in Terry Cove. Give me a ring. And so I would label them that way. And then when I went to the call session, I would pick which one I wanted to. Or if I wanted to record a new one, I could do that. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah. Does it come with triple line or single line dialer, the deal? For the 199, it's a single line dialer. And yeah. and you uh, can... I know I know I know that we use the triple, but for anybody who's never used a dialer before, even the single line dialer is so fast as opposed to dialing by hand. And we can always upgrade you after that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to overwhelm people with too many things, Ricky. No, absolutely. Okay, got time for one more. Zachary. Yes, sir. Hello. How are you? Good. How you doing? Amazing, brother. Um, I've been sending the handwritten letters that you recommended, and mm -hmm. I had someone get back to me and say they were interested in selling. The client I had sent the letter for purchased another house. Um, would you recommend that I just do this strategy that you just showed to try and sell that house? Um like just calling the neighbors around his home. What, they won't let you list it? Uh, he doesn't want, it's like a $6 million duplex um, that he wants to sell off market. He doesn't really okay. want to put it on the market. Yeah. Perfect. Is he working with other agents to sell it? No, not yet. Okay. So say, listen, if you're just exclusively working with me, then I'll get to work. Right? Okay. So then, you, so then you're going to use this strategy to look up people that own smaller duplexes around the whole market. Hell, look up duplexes all over the damn place. You know, say, hey, I got I got a bit or uh, call the people that have big duplexes to, as well. Right. So they okay. can sell their small duplex and get into a big one. Or if they have a big one and want another big one, it's just the kind of it's just you think about who's going to buy this. Right. Cool. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Other duplex owners, other. All right. Here's the deal right here. Here's the link. The deal is one ninety nine for geo leads and a dialer. Forty bucks off. It's good till tomorrow. Bache, you around? He said no microphone. No mic. Okay. Well, if I'm not converting them to waterfront, no waterfront here, what do I call? Are you? Okay. I'm sorry. Can you, I, run, I, look, can you, can you run that deal back one more time, gentlemen? The what? The deal? Yeah, yeah, because um, um, my phone was cutting out in a bad area, Ricky. It's one ninety nine for GLE. It's one ninety nine for GLEs Plus and the dialer. It's normally two two thirty nine, so it's forty bucks off for the first month. Uh, all, all, I, all I have to do is say Ricky Carew, so I get the forty dollars. That's right. And it's and, for the and, first and, month. And, and, and they waive the one hundred fifty dollars setup fee. Oh, nice! And, and that's yep. for the first month. Yep, and then the second month it'll be regular price, which is two thirty nine. Okay, and that gives me the geo, the geo lead. So anytime I see a listing, yep. I can geo circle lead. that area, I, yep. and I'll get a, a full call list, and the dial will just start shooting away, and I can hit, let's say, two hundred calls within three, four hours. Easy. You, you got it, bro. Easy. You got it. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I want. That's what I need. I like yep. that. Sorry to interrupt you, my brother. Uh, another thing, guys, this is a free training for everybody. So some of you may be silver, some of you may not be. If you're not silver, become silver. Every Monday we do a call like this. So go to Gold Bar, which you guys all are part of. If you're not silver, it's hundred dollars a month for a call like this every week. Hi, and we're, we're competing. We're, com 
we're competing with each other on listings as well. It's a listing challenge. All right. Let's see. Du, 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 du. Okay, Greg, go ahead. Yes, Ricky. Thanks for taking my uh, question. A question I have is that I have a listing and in the backyard, there's a Jiffy Lube. The house is in not very good shape. And the price point isn't fantastic. It's not great, but it's not a great deal. But I want to call around it. Any suggestions on the dialogue on that? What Say it again, what the deal is. Uh, the house is a Jiffy Lube right in the backyard. And the house is not in good condition. And the price point is not fantastic. It's So it's not a great deal. So who's the best but buyer for that? Who Who's the best buyer for that? It would how much be is, somebody. How much is it? How much is it? It's four ninety nine. And okay, so it's so an investment it, property for a rent for a rental, long term rental. Okay, uh, but the price point really doesn't quite work for that. So someone probably want to come in a lot lower than that. Uh, so yeah, matter, I, I would does, like. Hey, look here. Look here. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they want to offer. It doesn't okay. matter. It, I mean, if somebody wants to offer one fifty, whatever. Let's let's present the deal and get it done. They want to come back. They want to come back at one eighty, and we come back at one seventy. We do a deal at one seventy five. I don't care. Get the deal done. Right. So then the cold call would be basically, I got a great investment property. I have in a your great area. rental property. If I had, listen, if I had a great smoking hot deal on a rental property, would you be interested? Oh, you yeah. would. I got one behind <laughs> the Jiffy Lube. You know where the Jiffy Lube is? I got one right behind there for under two hundred. That you, you need to make an offer. Just it's in bad shape. Make 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 some kind of offer on it because that somebody's going to pick up a great deal on that. Gotcha. But listen, Greg, listen to me. Let's not zero yeah. in on the cheapest property in town. Okay. Let's spend an hour calling on that one and the other three hours today calling on that five million dollar house when we're calling two and a half million dollar property owners for. And then tomorrow, and then tomorrow, let's call the eight hundred thousand dollar house, and let's call four hundred thousand dollar owners to buy it. Shake and move, baby. Shake and bake. Point taken. Ricky Bobby. All right. Soul Dad. Thank you. Lumi. Dan, no, hold on, Lumi. No, Daniel, I'm not always calling people that are half the price. I'm just making examples. Pick anybody you want to that might upgrade to it, man. Like, if it's 800, just call, like, I'll tell you what, at most, like, the 800 is a five bedroom. Call all the three and four bedrooms. Say, hey, I see you got a three. I see you got a four. Do you need a five? I got one right down the road. I'd love to show you. I'm here, Ricky. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Soul Dad. <laughs> Yes, uh, I was just wanted to ask, you know, people who when you get leads and you uh, either they're uh, they already lease their home or they opt out of your system. Do you still keep them and, and call them for? I don't later? even know. they. I don't even know they opted out. How do how do I know they opted out? Oh, my system tells me <laughs> it just sends you an email. Yes, I would block all those emails. OK. I would tell it to stop alerting me when people opt out of my email. That's that's distracting. Okay, thank you. It doesn't matter when people that does nothing for you to know who opts out of your email. That's a waste of time. You can't do nothing about it. They ain't going to do business with you. Go go continue finding people that love you that want to do business with you. You ain't got time for the other people. Lumi. Hey Ricky. So I'm a brand new agent, five months in, and I started doing expires, but um, I'm only doing like lower price expires, right? Because I'm looking and there's a lot of expensive homes in my area, you know, 600 and plus, but I feel like if they've been in the market for 200 plus days and they expired as a new agent, I guess I feel a certain type of way that, well, they couldn't sell it in their world. Yeah. Here's you the know? problem. You ready? You ready for your problem? I'm going to say, I'm going to change your whole life. Okay? okay. You're trying to sell the property. Right. Wrong strategy. 
What I'm trying to do is use the property as an excuse to talk to them, to see if I can get to know them, to see what they actually want to do in their life. Okay. If they ain't sold, it, it's because they don't want to sell it. You can sell a property. It'll sell for a price. I promise. Yeah. They're not ready to sell it. So they ain't got it down to the price that's ready to sell. Okay. So yeah. the question becomes, I see you were trying to sell this house. What happened? And then they're going to tell you the story. And then what you got to understand is, is why they don't really want to sell it and what they actually do want to do. Oh, you want to buy something? Okay. Like it, the whole object is, is to use the properties as an excuse to talk to them to see what they actually want to do so that you can help them do it. Gotcha. I don't care about listing the property, selling the property or anything about the property. Okay. So now the object changes from get the listing, sell the property to get to know the person, help them do what they want to do. I love that. Yeah. I didn't think about it that way. Thank you. All right. I don't see anybody else's hands up. We're kind of past our time anyway. I love you guys. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Gold bar, silver, get the red X deal. I'll put it right here again. What are you waiting on? It's cheaper than anything. You don't even have to. Why would you buy Zillow leads when you, I just picked up. <laughs> Why would you do anything else? It's crazy. All right. And um, I'll be in LA next week. I'll be in Montgomery at the EXP Awards Banquet in Alabama the next week. Gold Bar Live. I got I got two tickets, two backstage tickets that includes flight, uh, hotel, meals, and everything. Hang out with me all day, the day of the event. Meet Ryan Serhant, Josh Maltman, and everybody. 10,000. I'll have two of those if anybody wants them. Outside of that, I'll be in Houston the week after that. We'll fix it, be on the road. Blue. Come see you guys. All right. I'll see you guys soon. I'll put a replay link out. And uh, you guys let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Peace. Ricky. I had 35 Later. with a top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs. And these lames ain't like me. Drop